Next week, at the slightly later time of 11.35, a U.S. Marine unit faced their first combat mission in the Philippines in the film Beach Red. Sharky was in homicide. Now he's in vice. Sharky. Narcotics. Uh, vice. You freaking low-life creep. <gasps> but where there's girls, there's trouble. Ah! It was ours, Frisco. Somebody blew her up. Maybe. You guys got 40 more hours, then I turn her over to homicide. I've got you. Bert Reynolds, Sharky's Machine, Bank Holiday Monday, 10.15, ITV. Clairvoyant diagnosis is the paranormal subject under discussion in Stories in the Night, next. Don't buzz me. Got hay fever, man. Can't work. It's the season season. <laughs> what about our mission, Chuck? They'll throw you out of the hive. Can't fly. It's that pollen. Major! I'll get you flying, Chuck, and fast. Yeah, how? With this, it's new Seldane. Just one tablet lasts for 24 hours, and it won't make you drowsy. Gee, how did you do it, Major? I didn't, Pee-wee. New Seldane did. Oh, Merle, darling. Yeah, well, I've got away sooner than expected. Fancy a sandwich? <laughs> you got anything else? Snack shots. A range of snacks so tasty they make others seem rather tame. And because they microwave from frozen in minutes... There you go, love. Paella. They're particularly handy if you're always on the run. Mm, delicious. Better get you another freezer to stock up, eh? Mm. Bird's eye snack shots. There's no better taste when there's no time to waste. <laughs> Jam, cola, beetroot. And if these red stripes come out pink, I'll be in trouble. But thanks to the miracle of technology, whisk has improved. It's even tougher on stains like these, still just as gentle on colors. See, colors still bright and not a stain in sight. Another triumph for technology. New whisk, tougher on stains, gentle on colors. <laughs> Something special for this summer on ITV. World Cup Plus, this summer on ITV.
Hello. Well, I'm still recovering from Richard Gere. What a way to start Wednesday's night time. My knees are still jelly. So we must look ahead and in half an hour, video fashion highlights the young American designers. First, Nick Stewart with more stories in the night. Welcome to Stories in the Night, where we put the mysterious world of the paranormal to the test. We try to get to the truth, no matter how amazing it is. Tonight, we're investigating something that, if true, would arguably be one of the greatest breakthroughs in the history of medicine. Clairvoyant diagnosis, the ability to see exactly what is wrong with somebody just by Remember, looking at Remember, both the Dr. Wickham and Betty Shine suggest you go and see your doctor, even if you do decide in the end to have clairvoyant diagnosis. From Stories in the Night, good night. Next on ITV, the headlines from ITN, and then video fashion profiles the young American designers. One explanation for our love of water is a desire to return to the womb. Floating in warm water is claimed to free the mind. The ancient Greeks, the Chinese, and the American Indians believed in its healing properties. It's still used in therapy today. British gas water heating may not sound as romantic as the sea, but it's a good alternative if you want oceans of affordable hot water on tap. Whereas other water babies have to wait for the tide to come in. Nestle Dairy Crunch. Smooth chocolate, crispy, rice. If your marketing could do with a lift, get an expert to help you get it right. The Enterprise Initiative, phone 0800 500 200. Over the last year, which liquid cleaned more clothes than any other? Incredible. Even Van Gogh never got his colors that bright. Ta-da! Really stink? Go! Cleaner than a joke on children's hour. The lot. Aerial liquid. Aerial liquid? Over the last year, cleaned more clothes than any other liquid. Coral Sea of Oz, just the spot to test quick and smooth mixing Solvon. It's great for hanging all papers. And it's sticking now. Pretty good, I'd say. 
Just goes to show. Even down under. Soul bike's the only one you need. I have a secret. But I'm a little shy. And I can't just tell anyone. So you'll only hear it if you're telepathic. Thank you for listening. Hmm. Nice. Nice, but maybe you'd suit something softer, less structured, from this new... Thomas Starshevsky collection. The Daily Express. Makes you think, doesn't it? E.G. Marshall plays a rather strange mortician in one of two stories from the Night Gallery. That's a little later at 3 a.m. Well, in a couple of minutes, video fashion. First, over to ITN for the latest headlines. It's just gone two. <laughs> The Soviet Union's first national referendum is to be held on whether to introduce a Western-style market economy. Mr. Gorbachev says the choices are as important as the Russian Revolution itself. Soviet elections have become increasingly democratic, but there's never been a referendum here before. The mood here may not be explosive yet, but there is concern that prices officials say will double will really go much higher, and that wages simply won't keep pace. There's concern, too, about widespread redundancies, as factories cushioned by state subsidies are exposed to the forces of a market economy. But Mr. Gorbachev knows this will be much more than a referendum on the market economy. It will be a vote of confidence in his leadership. Allegations that the England soccer manager Bobby Robson handed written resignation notes to Football Association executives have been denied by the FA's chief executive, Graham Kelly. Today, newspaper claimed Robson sent the notes after he'd learned that an alleged former lover was publishing a book. Mr. Robson and the England team will leave for the World Cup on Friday before the tournament next month. The Home Secretary was snubbed by police officers when he spoke at the Federation's annual conference. David Waddington was received in silence, with the police claiming his veto of an arbitration award on housing had cost each of them £1,000 a year. This government's consistent and constant support for the police since May of 1979 has changed the picture overwhelmingly for the better. And I have to say, Mr Chairman, you all know it. Prince Charles has spoken of the need for more environmental awareness. He said the West must help Eastern Europe to clean up their polluted countries. The Prince has travelled the world to see for himself the effects of pollution and the damage that rapid development can do to the Earth. He said he saw the effects nowhere more clearly than in Hong Kong. It's a brilliant tour de force, but in the environmental sense, it's the very opposite of sustainable. Yet the challenge of sustainability has to be met, and certainly thought about, in thriving, bustling cities like this, or not at all. I'll have more news for you later. At first glance, our continental movie tomorrow night looks like a bit of a fraud. When you think that Michael York and Henry Fonda played themselves, the other big stars, William Holden, who with Martha Keller is in Fedora. That's in Thursday's night time at 1.30. Now video fashion. Fashion News brings you the latest and greatest style-making events from around the world, wherever fashion is breaking. In this issue, the spotlight shines on the young Americans, the next generation of designers setting the pace of fashion for the 90s. Sada Garrett looks at this week's chart and Casey Kasem of pop history in America's top ten after the break. <laughs> 